What is going on guys, it is WrestleGamia here, back with another video. Now there are a lot of wrestling games, there's some good ones, and there are some real bad ones. All the games found on this list are so bad that they make you question what you're doing with your life while you're playing them. So be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell, because today we're looking at 11 of the worst wrestling video games ever. By the way guys, these are in no specific order, they're just all terrible. Number 1. WCW Backstage Assault EA certainly have a reputation of being one of the worst game developers out there. From the burial of the Star Wars franchise to the spamming of the repetitive FIFA series, they haven't exactly built up a lot of goodwill amongst gamers over the years, and this game certainly didn't help that image. EA had previously partnered with WCW to create WCW Mayhem, their response to WWE and Uke's growing series of titles. The game received mixed reviews, but its sequel took a turn for the worse. Released for PlayStation and Nintendo 64 in the year 2000, the game has one huge flaw that kills the rest of it. It features no in-ring competition. Instead, everything in the game happens backstage. This is literally taking one mode from the previous game and repackaging it as a full release. Never have we seen such a blatant downgrade before. You go through a series of backstage areas, beat your opponent, then move on to the next. Occasionally a champion will show up letting you challenge him, but the worst thing is that even if you win a title, you can't defend it afterwards. Many of the wrestlers in the game are locked, so you have to go through the challenge mode to unlock them. The only problem is you'll probably get bored through one playthrough. It also doesn't help that the game has awful graphics and gameplay, both of which are actually worse than the previous effort. The backlash to this feeble attempt was so bad that it allegedly sold only 200,000 copies. For a big promotion like WCW, that was abysmal at the time. Number 2. WWE 2K20 Never has a wrestling video game's launch been so disastrous. When 2K20 hit their shelves officially on 22nd October 2019, it was plagued with game-breaking glitches and catastrophic but yet oh so funny bugs. Just one normal session could see wrestlers bouncing around like a pinball, bodies glitching through the ring mat, invisible wrestlers, horrific glitched faces and attires as well as sound glitches, the image uploader not working, bad lighting and PS2 level graphics on those characters who were not scanned. This all occurred thanks to Ukes leaving 2K and leaving the project in the inept hands of Visual Concepts, who admitted they had to learn everything from scratch. Now granted they managed to fix some of the major issues, however even after three major patches, the game is still a broken mess. Even with a 50% discount during Black Friday, this game still wasn't worth it. We just wonder what will happen to 2K21. Ooh, 2K, please bring back Ukes. Number 3. WWF Betrayal Released by THQ exclusively for Game Boy Color in 2001, this one isn't strictly a wrestling game, more of a side-scrolling beat-em-up in the vein of Streets of Rage but it includes wrestling characters so we're counting it in. The story to this one is ripped straight from the WWE in the late 90s, loosely based on Stephanie McMahon's kidnapping story. Vince McMahon has offered a WWE title match as a reward to anyone who can save her. Gamers can choose to play as Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Triple H or The Undertaker, but that's the high point of the experience. Gameplay is mostly limited to kicks and punches and the AI is far too easily defeated for it to be any kind of a challenge. In fact, the only enemies on display here are a collection of referees and backstage officials with the three wrestlers you chose not to play as serving as bosses. Seriously, how easily swayed were these guys to fall to the dark side? Well, the title says it all here. It's a betrayal, and not worthy of the WWE name, but if we're taking video game plots from bad Attitude Era storylines, can we suggest we get a game based on Val Venus's infamous choppy choppy your pee pee story next? That would be interesting if nothing else. Number 4. Fire Pro Wrestling for Xbox 360 No no no, don't confuse this one with the main Fire Pro Wrestling line of games, those are some of the best on the market and there are very few negatives that could be said about them. The Xbox 360 port of Fire Pro Wrestling? Now that's a different matter altogether. This quite simply makes a mockery of the series it takes its title from. It seemingly only exists to give Microsoft an excuse to use gamers Xbox avatars as part of an actual game and those are the only characters you play as here. There are no New Japan Pro Wrestlers, controls are overly simplistic and its overall presentation is basic and janky. 
This could have been a fun party game, but with such little effort put into it, it's basically a dud that isn't worth the 400 gamer points it'll cost you on Xbox Live. Number 5. WCW NWO Thunder Released for PlayStation by THQ in January of 1999, this one served as a dark omen for what lay in WWE's future. It hit stores just 11 days after the infamous finger poke of doom, a moment regarded by many as the jump the shark moment for the company, and this serves as a great parallel for their games division. Everything is awful. Commentary is awful and it's limited to basic phrases. The graphics are awful and the cameras are awkward. AI is atrocious and just like WWF Betrayal, it's too easy to win fights with some moves being able to drain half your opponent's energy in one fell swoop. The movesets are pretty much copy and paste for each wrestler and there's a particularly weird select screen where you'll see wrestlers cut off an awful promos. The only thing stopping this from being the worst WCW game is that it isn't named a backstage assault but that's faint praise. Number 6. Backyard Wrestling Don't Try This At Home Or maybe it should be called Don't Play This At Home. This game desperately tried its best to capitalise on the wrestling boom of the late 90s where it seemed like anything wrestling was cool. Well, apart from Heroes of Wrestling, that is. Backyard Wrestling is exactly what you would expect it to be, utter trash. Released by Eidos and Paradox Development for PS2 and Xbox in 2003, this doesn't even merit being a budget title. You can fight in various unimaginative locations like a truck stop or a strip club with a roster made up mostly of characters from Insane Clown Posse's Jugolo Championship Wrestling. It's buggy as all hell and features a story mode fittingly called Talk Show Mode where your character will interview different backyard wrestlers in the vein of Jerry Springer and then be forced to fight them after the interview ends. One thing's for sure, Vince Russo would have loved this one. But the novelty quickly wears off as you soon realise that it's all just a bit boring. The backyard wrestling phenomenon is something of a 90s relic, though we may be seeing a revival of sorts with Kenny Omega and John Moxley's controversial Lights Out match being the talk of the wrestling world. Just no more games like this one, please. Number 7. Hulk Hogan's Main Event Is this game the spiritual successor to the famous Punch-Out games on Nintendo? No. Cashing in on the Kinect hype in 2010, the Kinect gaming accessory for Xbox 360 used motion sensors to map out a player, and you guessed it, a player can perform wrestling moves just like in the game. And you can play as the Hulkster. Actually, not quite. You can't play as the Hulkster himself, even though it's his own damn game. He just shows up in various scenes and his name is on the box. Essentially, you create a wrestler and take it through the ranks and use motion controls to do certain moves. That's pretty much it. Once you're done with the 50 or so moves in the game, toss the game right in the bin because that's where it belongs. Main event? This belongs on the pre-show. Number 8. WWE 2K18 for Nintendo Switch Another console specific example here, 2K18 wasn't the worst game in the world though it did have its faults. The port to Nintendo Switch however was so bad that some called it the worst game ever released for the console. Released in December 2017, two months after the PS4 and Xbox One versions, it's a massive downgrade in every respect and another possible example of a Christmas cash grab. The biggest problem with this game is the horrible drop in frame rates, often falling to about 20 frames per second, over half of what could be found in other versions of the game. This caused the gameplay to flow in slow motion and it made it pretty much unplayable as a result. Even patches released after haven't even fixed the problem. We can't imagine anyone choosing to buy this one. Number 9. Five Star Wrestling Regenesis Wrestling fans always want an alternative to the WWE 2K series of games, but why did the alternative have to be Five Star Wrestling Regenesis? A game that is sadly a cheap parody of WWE games, funny because the developers are called Serious Parody. The game is a sequel to Five Star Wrestling on the current generation of consoles, but somehow they managed to make the game worse. The roster is incredibly limited with wrestlers like Johnny Maivia, Andy Organ and Greg Hardy. Now we get there's licensing issues, but couldn't they have come up with something original? The game only has singles matches with added stipulations, but it gets old very fast. There are challenges for individual wrestlers to extend replayability, but it gets tedious after completing them with just a few wrestlers. Hit detection is non-existent and the wrestlers flow with about as much smoothness as a square tyre. This one should have been minus 5 star wrestling. <laughs> Number 10. The Simpsons Wrestling 
When at its best, The Simpsons franchise is unbeatable, but they've put their name to some bad products over the years and this may be the worst of them of all. The show has had some tangential relation to the wrestling world with the likes of Bret the Hitman Hart appearing in it, but why anyone thought it was a good idea to make a Simpsons wrestling game is anyone's guess. Released for PS1 by EA and Activision in 2001, it's an all round disaster. Graphics and gameplay are terrible and the controls are all over the place with characters often not moving in the direction you want them to. You can choose from 20 characters ranging from Bart to Kang and Kodos and fight in a series of familiar Springfield locations. Matches take place over 3 rounds but for some reason you can get pinned while laying on your belly. It's as if the developers had never seen a wrestling match. We weren't expecting Homer Simpson to be busting out Canadian destroyers or anything, but the movesets are so woefully limited that it barely even qualifies as wrestling. There's just no meaningful content here. Not only is it one of the worst wrestling games ever, but it's one of the worst games released on PlayStation. The only saving grace is that you're trying to spot as many classic Simpsons references as you can. And number 11, Legends of Wrestling 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Hey look, we know it's a Game Boy Advance game and it isn't going to get as immersive as typical wrestling games on consoles, but boy, is this game bad. The game even for Game Boy Advance standards is flat out ugly. The game's only redeeming factor is that it has 40 legend wrestlers to choose from, that being from Hulk Hogan to superstar Billy Graham, the models in the game only barely look identifiable. Animation is so choppy to the point you think you're playing a game and watch game, and controls are utterly horrendous. If you hated anyone in 2002, this was the game to get them for Christmas. But there you have it guys, 11 of the worst wrestling video games ever. Are there any more that need to be added to the list? Let us know in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.